Yes, I've been saving up to show something to you. I'm in Sorcerers and Dragons chapter at the moment, and this video is going to be just showing you a little bit about how the chapter works. You can see this is the settlement over here, and it's quite it's it's massive. It's it's more than four expansions by four expansions. It's about 21, 22, somewhere around about that number of blocks, and it starts off small, and then you have to keep increasing. This thing in the center is called the campus. There are four increases of one block in that direction, and there are four in that direction. And I've now got to the stage where I can take it to its maximum size. So I just need to move these buildings out of the way, which I'll do quickly, and then carry on with the video. Okay, so I've moved them out of the way. Now I can just click on the Upgrade uh, tab. There we go, and you'll see it's now going to level 4. That's the highest it goes to. So there you go, we can do the upgrade. Jolly good. Well, that means that my Sorcerers and Dragons settlement is now at its largest. Now, how does Sorcerers and Dragons work? Well, I want to remind you that in Dwarves chapter, you just had two buildings. You had copper and you had granite. And that was it. Nothing more to it than that. Then you went to fairies, where it got a bit more complicated, because some of the products of the day farm were used to make things in the night farm, and some of the products in the night farm were used to make things in the day farm. Then you went one step up in complexity when you went to orcs. In orcs you had tier 1 and tier 2 production settlement buildings, because you had the mushroom farms, and they made a variety of things, and then that variety of things was then used in the rally points to make other things. Then you went over to Wood Elves, where you had just about exactly the same pattern, because you had the uh, grafting sites that made basic tier level 1 materials. And then those materials were plonked into the forest fabrications, where they made other stuff that you needed to do the tech tree. Now this is slightly different because you don't have two kinds of buildings, you only have one. Okay, now, now look here, those there are alchemy faculties, those there are arcane faculties, and these three here are necromancy faculties. Okay, now I'll show you how those work. But when you start off, I'm just going to move this lighthouse. Can you see that there is a long building there? You see it? That is the Wisdom Square that connects from a road to the big square building in the middle, which is your campus. Okay, now, the other big difference between this and the, uh, the chapters that you've done before is there aren't any roads. The faculties have to touch the campus. Now, you can see I've managed to pack in three and three and three. Uh, it is, in fact, theoretically possible to pack in four of each kind. I'm not going to bother because that needs more space than I have available and it's not necessary. And I'm going to give you a little secret here, and that is that Timon, the game designer, told us that in every guest race he has quests where he says, build so many settlement buildings of this kind or build so many of that kind. And uh, these are the chapter quests that you're not allowed to decline. Now that's a hint from Timon. He's saying to you that is the number that I, Timon, the designer of the game, feel is enough. If you've got that number, you'll do okay. And in this chapter, that quest is build three of each kind of faculty, which I've done. If you could squeeze an extra one, certainly the chapter will go quicker, but you can finish it this way. I'm just going to mention here, by the way, that there is another quest that comes along that wants you to have four buildings, but if you look closely, you'll see you can decline that one. If you don't have space, just decline it, as simple as that. Okie dokie. Now, another difference with Sorcerers and Dragons is that in your Wood Elves and in your, your Orcs, uh, we always say, get your settlement up to level four, you see. If you look over here, level 4 faculty, level 4, get you everything up, there you go, I've just taken my campus to level 4. Get your settlement making lots of goods, and only then will you start to spend those goods. It just makes sense, because if you're making little 
piddly little bits of, of material and then spending it on the tech tree, it goes nowhere. But if you've got a full power settlement, then you are producing every single day tons of stuff and you will go quicker in the long run, you see. So let's look at the dynamics of how the settlement works. You have a road connection there. You have your wisdom square, which is your connector to the campus. This wisdom square also, see, it produces apprentices. And the number of apprentices, I'll give you the figures later, they're in my, my notes on, on uh, Sorcerers and Dragons, you can go and look it up. But the more faculties you have, the more apprentices you will make, you see. Then what happens is those apprentices go to school. So they go to the faculty where they become undergraduates. Let's go and have a look at one of the production runs. I've got a picture of that. Let's go and find it. Here we are. This is uh, when you click on one of your faculties. This one's the Arcane Faculty. You have four production runs. One, two, three, four. The first one is to produce materials which are different in every single one of the faculties. The, the, these things are used to upgrade your settlement. When your settlement is full size, you don't need them any longer. You can stop making them. Okay. The second production run takes those apprentices that come from your wisdom square and it turns them into undergraduates. Okay. And then you send your undergraduates to go and get some more experience at a different faculty. So those are these two uh, runs here. The arcane faculty cannot train its own undergraduates but it can take in undergraduates from the other two faculties and make them into graduates of that kind and that kind. Now we're going to look at the, um, the little inventory drop box at the top of the city. I made a screenshot of it. Uh, okay, so the first three productions that you will see here are the one on the top left hand side. These are the materials that you use to upgrade your buildings. I won't need any more because I don't intend to make any more faculties. The next one here, the apprentices, they are the ones that come from the Wisdom Square and you will remember me saying the greater the number of faculties that you have and the higher their level, as I said there is a formula, we'll show it to you later, uh, the more of these things you make. Okay. And then they go to the faculties, and in the alchemy faculty, you'll see I've made one undergraduate. In the arcane faculty, I've made 17. Necromancy, I've made two. And then I've sent these undergraduates to another faculty to make arcane alchemists, to make alchemical necromancers, and to make arcane necromancers. These are the goodies that you will use on your tech tree. As simple as that. Really, so there's nothing complicated about it at all. When I'm finished here, I'll take you across to Platinum Leaf and I'll show you. I have a note. But I just want to finish off with the city before we go. If you've seen my city before, it hasn't changed much. But this morning, I sold a couple of my residences. And I've now started making the bigger. They are uh, wider, but they are more narrow in, in height. I've started upgrading all of my residences and I will go up there all the way to the main hall. Notice that I have a road at the bottom of my city so I'm going up because it's a bit messy building around the main hall so it's easier to start at the bottom and go up. Then I will do another row and another row. I, I'm not a big user of Elven Architect. This is my way of doing things. I know that my main priority in this city, I've now got everything here in the settlement that I need in order to go up the tech tree. Now I've got to start upgrading and I don't really know how I'm going to upgrade everything. They're all different sizes. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to do all my residences. And then all my builders for the next couple of days, maybe a week or longer, will be busy upgrading. When I've done two or three rows of buildings all the way up there, I will have cleared up some space, I will have made extra population because I am actually in the red at the moment having sold some buildings and only then will I begin to bother about where am I going to put my scrolls, manufactories, where will I put my new shape, workshops, etc, etc, etc. And you know, by the time that I've done all of that, then of course it's time to sell this and then I can start preparing for the next chapter and I'll have plenty of room to shift things around. So that's my method and that's how I do it.
Now, I just want to very quickly show you a note where I've got most of the information that you need. It is in our tip of the day section, otherwise known as info tips, everything you need to know about the sorcerers and the dragons. What you do is you click on the first comment. That's where all the information is, okay? Now I'm not going to read it to you. Come here and look at it yourself. But there's quite a lot. There's all the info you need. Uh, there, there are links, descriptions. Uh, there's a link somewhere. There it is. There's a link to the Elvenar Wiki, which is very good. Here's a picture of my city. There is the picture if you wanted to show you what the production runs look like etc etc oh and here we are here here is a elven architect diagram see that middle thing is the campus this thing here is the wisdom square and they've showed you a pattern where you can just 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 when when this has got to full size when it's smaller you won't be able to do this but when that is 10 by 10 then you have a chance to actually pack in 16 buildings okay well it's all there. This was just a teaser to show you what is available. The note. We have notes on all kinds of subjects. Uh, Elvenar Platinum Leaf. We have 230 uh, info tips, which are things like this. We have files. We've got all the event uh, guides or notes. And we've got lots and lots and lots of videos, more than 100. So why don't you come and join us on Facebook? See you then. Bye.